Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm just showing you five quick and easy ways to create a plant hanger hoop. So we're gonna create a loop like this. So I'm just gonna be using scrap cords for all of this. So let's get started. So the first method is just a basic knot. So I've just got four scrap cords here. I've split them in half. And I'm just tying it in a basic knot like this. And then I can just pull on each individual cord to tighten it up. So this is by far the easiest method of them all. So you can see it creates a really nice detail and loop at the top. So now onto the second method. So I split my cords in half and I put the middle point on the desk and I'm laying them out. And then I'm just taking another scrap cord that I've split in half. Taking the midway point and I'm gonna place it about five centimeters above the middle point of my plant hanger. I'm placing it behind like so. I'm gonna just create rows of square knots. So I'm taking this cord on the right over the middle cords. I'm taking the cord on the left over that cord. Behind the middle cords. And then it will come behind and through this loop here. And now you can just pull that to tighten it. So that's one half of a square knot. So now we're just going to repeat this on the other side. So the left cord will go over the middle two. The fourth will come over that one, behind the middle two cord, and then through this loop here. And that is one square knot complete. So we're just going to repeat this pattern until we've used up all of this cord. So I'm just making square knot after square knot until I've used up all of the cord like this. And then if you push the two ends of the square knots together, you can see it makes this really pretty loop. And now I'm just making another scrap cord here. It's about 30 to 40 centimeters long. And I'm gonna create a wrapping knot just to secure the two ends together. So take a small tail at the top like this, and then I'm gonna make this loop at the bottom. I'm taking the longer tail part and I'm just wrapping it around all of the cords quite tightly so it secures it all in place. Got the small tail still here and the loop here. And then I'm just going to wrap the long tail around until I have about five or six wraps. Like so, and then you can take the rest of the long tail and pass it through this loop here. And then just gently hold that in place while you pull on the small tail at the top. And you'll see the loop start to close and it will pull that cord up and into the knot. So pull it until it's about halfway through your knot. Just don't pull it all the way through as it will undo the knot. You can go ahead and just snip off the excess cords from that wrapping knot. So that is the second method, which is square knots. Now onto the third method, which will be lark's head knot. So I've got another scrap cord here that's about 100 centimeters long. And I'm just going to take it so there's about seven centimeters on the left side and the rest of it is on the right. And then I'm going to take the loop part, I'm going to wrap it behind the cord. I'm going to pass the two cords through the loop there and pull that to tighten it. So that is a lark's head knot. Now in order to repeat this, we can't create the lark's head knot in the same way. So we're going to take the long cord up, over and behind all your middle cords. And then it's going to come through this loop here. And you can just pull that to tighten it up against the first lark's head knot that you created. So that's half of the lark's head knot. So we're going to take that long cord again and we're going to go behind all the middle cords up and over. And then it'll go through the loop there. just pull that up against the other half of it and you'll see it looks exactly the same as the lark's head knot.
So again, up, over, behind, and through the loop. And then it will go behind the cores, up, over, and through the loop. So just going to repeat this until I've used up all of the long cord. Now that I've used up all the cord, you can see it creates this really, really pretty shape and it will already start to curl up into this loop shape. So you can have it so the ridges are on the outside or if you push them down, you can have it so one side is smooth and the ridges and bumps are on the other side. I quite like it so it sticks up, kind of looks like a dinosaur. And then I'm just going to secure the two sides together again using the exact same wrapping knot as I showed you in the second method. And you can see it creates this really pretty loop shape. Now onto the fourth method which is clove hitch knots. So again I've just got four scrap cords here and then I'm taking another longer cord that's probably about 100 centimeters again. So for this I've got another short tail there and then the longer part and I'm creating this sort of D shape. And then I'm taking the long tail underneath all the middle cords and then it's going to come up behind and through this loop here. And just pull all the cord through that. And then I'm going to repeat the exact same with the long cord. Just the exact same process, so I'm making this capital D shape. Taking the long cord underneath all the middle cords and then through this loop here. Then you can pull that to tighten it up against the first knot that you created and it should help secure that shorter tail in place. And then I'm just going to repeat this process until I've used up all of the cord and you'll see it starts to create this really really pretty spiral shape. So here is it complete and you can see it's got a really pretty detail to it. And if you push the two sides together you'll see the loop form and again I'm securing this using a wrapping knot. And here is it complete. So that is the fourth method. Now on to the fifth and final method, which is probably the second easiest one. We are just going to do a really long wrapping knot. So the exact same process. I didn't realize that I wasn't on camera for a lot of this, but it's the exact same process as I showed you how to do it in the second method. So we've got the short tail at the top and then I'm making a really long U shape. So we have enough to wrap the long cords around. So I'm just wrapping it and wrapping it until I've used up all of that longer cord. Like so. And then once I've done that, I can just pass the rest of the long cord through the loop. And pull on the shorter tail at the top to close it. Now you want to spend a bit of time just manoeuvring it and smoothing it out because as you can see you can kind of tell where the cord has gone up into the knot as it's a bit thicker than the cord on the other side. And again I'm just going to secure it using a wrapping knot. And there is that one finished, so that's quite a nice clean look. So here are all the five different methods that we created in this video. Let me know in the comments down below which one is your favourite one you'd love to try out. For me, I love this second one, you'll see this a lot in my plant hangers, but I also do love the third one and I definitely need to remember to use this one more often. I just always stick to the second one. So I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope it helps you out somehow. And if you do recreate these and make any plant hangers, please be sure to tag me on Instagram at lunacraftsonline because I'd love to see it and share it. And if you could subscribe, like or comment, that would really help me out and make my day. And I'd really, really appreciate it. And I hope you have a lovely week. Bye.